Good morning and welcome to class. Lie down on your back in Haf Shavasana. And let's begin. Legs are bent, soles of the feet touch down on the ground. You can rest the knees together. Place one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. We'll begin our practice taking a few deep breaths as you close the eyes. Start to connect with your inner self. And letting everything else around you, all of your thoughts and ambitions for the day, just set those all aside so you can be fully present for this practice. Take two more deep breaths. The last breath. Feel the expansion of the ribs and the hands. And as you exhale, let your body melt. You can keep the eyes closed or you can blink them open. But you're going to hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Start to rock left and right. Then blink open the eyes. Set your left sole of the foot back down onto the ground. Hug the right knee into the chest even more. Option to extend the right leg. Hold on behind the right calf. Gently start to pull the right foot up and over your head. Keep the left leg where it's at and then cross your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Start to press into your right knee with your right arm and push the right knee away. Notice any sensations of a stretch in the right hip. You're just taking it easy. It's early morning. You're just waking the body up. Start to lift both legs, come into figure four. Reach your right arm through the triangle of the legs and hold on to the left shin or the left hamstring. Gently start to pull the legs into the chest. Keep your right foot flexed. So the right toes are pointing up towards the right knee. Take two deep breaths here. and release both legs. Hug the knees into the chest again. Release the right sole of the foot down onto the ground. Hug the left knee into the chest or up towards your left armpit. You can either stay here or if you wanna increase the stretch in your left hamstring and calf, you can also straighten the left leg. And start to pull the left leg up and over the head. Try to keep the left leg straight. Cross the left ankle on top of the right thigh and then press into the left inner knee to push the knee away from you. Open up that left hip. Figure four, pull both legs into the chest. Hold on to the right leg wherever it's accessible. 
and gently bring the legs closer to the chest. Just two more deep breaths here. Release the left leg on top of the right. Hug both knees into the chest once again. And then start to straighten both of your legs. Hold on to the calves once again. And start to pull the legs closer up over the head. So we're not coming into full plow pose. You're still keeping your lower back down on the mat. You're just starting to bring your legs up closer to the head. Again, try to keep the legs straight. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bend both knees. Start to rock forward and back. You're going to make your way into a tabletop. We'll do a few rounds of cat cow. So inhale, let the belly sink down, gaze forward. And exhale, start to push the ground away. Press the shoulder blades away from each other and tuck the chin to the chest. And again, reverse, let the belly sink down, gaze forward. And exhale, round the back, tuck the chin to the chest and push the ground away. One more of each. Back to a neutral spine. Then you're gonna bring your right foot outside your right hand for low lunge. You're gonna bring your both of your hands to the inside of your right foot. Now bring the left palm down onto the ground and then press the inside of your right knee gently away from you. So you can also come into a little bit of a twist, but at the same time, you're pressing your hips forward and down. Release the right hand, reach it back behind you towards the left foot. You could either stay here with this reach, the shoulder opener, the palm is up towards the, towards the sky, or you can start to bend your left leg, grab onto the foot, take a thigh stretch with the left leg by gently pulling the heel in towards the glute. Three breaths here. Release the back foot if you had it held. Place both hands back down on the ground and come back to a tabletop. Do some big hip circles. Loosen up the hips. Switch directions on the circle. Back to that neutral tabletop. Step your left foot forward outside your left hand. Start to sink the hips forward and down. The left hand comes to the inside of the left knee. Gently begin to press the knee away from you as you make your way into a, a twist. And release with the left hand. Reach it back behind you towards the right foot. Option again to just stay here. Or you can bend the right leg. Grab onto the pinky toe side of the back foot. Send the hips forward and down as you start to pull 
the right heel closer to the glute. Release the back foot. Bring the left hand back down onto the ground. Step the left foot back, tabletop. And a few hip circles in both directions. Really deep in the breath. Connect with your body this morning. Check in, see how you're feeling. Back to a neutral tabletop. And then you're gonna keep the hips stacked above the knees and start to walk the hands forward, make your way into puppy pose. So the chest starts to melt down towards the ground. Maybe your forehead touches down, maybe it doesn't. Either way is fine. You're looking for a stretch in the front side of the upper body. So the chest, the collarbone, the rib cage, Option to either stay here with the arms or you can set the elbows down, start to bring the palms of the hands together and the thumbs come to the back of the neck. So if we take this variation, you're increasing the stretch on the triceps, maybe opening the shoulders in a different way. Whatever variation of puppy pose you are in, we're here for two more breaths. Release out of puppy pose. Start to walk the hands back towards the knees. And then you're gonna tuck both of your toes under and you're gonna sit back on the heels. Just for a few breaths here to stretch out the bottom of the feet. And then release the toes. Come into Balasana, child's pose. So take the knees wide, walk the hands forward and let the chest melt down. We're here for just five breaths. So take this time to really feel into your body. Connect with your breath. So you can start your day with presence and awareness, which will help guide you into the perfect day ahead. Release Palasana, walk your hands back towards your knees. Bring the knees together. And we'll just take a few breaths here in Thunderbolt. So inhale, reach both of your arms up over your head, palms touch at the top. And exhale, hands come down through the heart. Pause here, gently close down the eyes. And thank yourself for showing up, for starting your day by moving your body and connecting with your breath, setting your intention to have an amazing day ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today for practice. I'll see you again on the mat this evening. Lots of love and namaste.